now we are back to again uh, earlier I done already done our timetable going through the timetable fixed and flexible and also attendance rule now I will going to shift management for shift management mostly is something that uh, fix for here fix for those fix is like here to set it like mostly admin office what's your plan your main office and flexible you can set it right here as well so let's say I just create one okay I just leave one so just earlier I created okay let's delete off can delete off that no worries you can create a one new one here let's go I got another one called I mean and I put a date uh this is not uh, not very finished uh not really big issue don't worry about it okay you can put it like that so put I mean then I can add the time earlier I mentioned in the timetable the timetable only act as a time but which they apply to that is where we set it right here this one for fix for those that come on a, that day that day different i mean every day like this then only may certainly different example i show you now let's say at a timetable okay then you find it you see the day appear right here then for those one let's say monday to friday they go to this timetable add onto it all right then it will appear right here so how about saturday saturday different timetable you add again Click this all then take saturday then we just select saturday right here and add onto it and you can see that here now that has saturday timetable that mean monday to friday follow this timetable but saturday is a different timetable as well no worries if you made it wrong you can just click clear all you're gone again but no worries you just click the add time again the timetable monday to friday just add back again and onto it and like Done. Then you can click again. You see the Saturday no have they eat again for Saturday. I take all this, click Saturday, and just apply onto Saturday this one. Okay, just like that. Apply to it. So you see Saturday like that. Then how about flexible? It works exactly the same as I did this one here right here. Monday all the right here, then Saturday will different. You just click here. Alright, both of us same. So one more on flexible, one more on fixed schedule. Now let's come to assignment. Here is employee schedule where you assign the ability to follow which timetable. As earlier already, they already done early here. Sorry, already done inside here as another operation. You will click right here, select. You can click all to select all. Then you assign everyone go by which timetable. Okay, like this one, I already assigned. No worries. Let's say we find one person to do with one person. You can click here. Then you see there's a timetable right here. Then there's a type right here. So if you want to see what inside, you can click arrange shift. You can see this go on fix running on this full schedule. All right. Let's say you want to change it. You can you can change it like that. Then you let's say I want to add another flex way. Let's go by flexible then add on to it. Like or tweet, then it will be all right. Let's work this way. So bear in mind, uh, uh, you only go by one, right? Fixed schedule or flexible. If you want to go mix, sometimes go to fix, sometimes go to, uh, then you have to assign it day, the certain day flexible. If they work, some they will work, okay? Example, you can create more than one, okay? So flexible, one, let's say Monday, flex. Tuesday, fix. Then can we but cannot move match each other. Cannot. All right. It must more not match each other. You can assign that that way. Can we can do that way to do it, right? But fix. As for those that we mostly when these two get done, as quite easy. But for those that are running on operation, they always go to different timetable. Then. You might as well go for, because their shift can be go different. This is like a Monday, go to morning shift, uh, then on Tuesday go to afternoon shift, then Friday go to night shift. If you have this kind of mostly happen in operation, remember you can set a click here and select a timetable. Select the timetable and create right here. Bear in mind, how the system know timetable based on the clock in period of time. And also here only maximum okay as for now maximum 
auto shift, we call it auto shift only up to 3 maximum, cannot go more than that and make sure there's no conflict, how do I know? then let's go back here, go back to the timetable again timetable, okay let's do timetable test 1, test 1, okay let's I make uh, this one call morning, morning, okay go morning, that's F, morning shift, okay morning shift for 8 o'clock until uh, 6 o'clock okay but a clock in period time I cannot put so I can put to let's say I put to um, 9 o'clock sorry 9 o'clock 9 zero, zero, zero. okay 9 o'clock if you want no one want meeting say okay no worries because of course they will meeting 3 okay this one is morning morning shift all right so, then I add on to it this will be your morning shift morning shift from 7 to 11.59 okay now come to afternoon shift okay let's change this name called afternoon okay afternoon shift I add it first then I change it okay now got afternoon shift but afternoon shift my working time is from 12 okay until oh 12 about 2 4 hours maybe but until like this time okay six hours four hours uh remind me it's wrong uh four hour plus yeah sorry it's supposed to be eight o'clock okay three o'clock then your clock in period must be different by now already okay earlier was seven o'clock so until eleven o'clock so this one will be twelve o'clock okay until uh make it like six o'clock okay then this one clock out maybe i put uh ten o'clock uh put it at um uh, well, because it's clocking out, I forgot, I forgot this one's clocking out already. So maybe not too late, maybe until uh, 17, 00. Okay, then this one, uh, clock out period start when 19, 00. Until 15, 59. If they work until all time as well, then we can put until, let's say, uh, 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, then how about break? Break mostly, they have around, uh, let's say, afternoon, uh, let's say, make it a break there. Uh, about four o'clock okay let's say resume at four o'clock okay then you finish your break by uh 17 30 okay 60 minutes then oh yeah sorry about it six minutes so 60 minutes from there clocky beneath maybe this one finish make it earlier finish up maybe uh, about 15 five o'clock okay about three o'clock so this one for breaks and uh that one for that all right for okay, work. just an example showing us the uh, afternoon break so this one is afternoon work okay clock in period i didn't crash with the earlier one and let's say i just update it you see notice that i didn't crash this one i didn't crash to it right so back in mind don't crash with each other and another one let's say we add for night shift okay now let's go to night shift okay night shift night shift let's say working time is start from um Maybe I uh, just assume in, uh, 9 o'clock, 21 zero, zero, until tomorrow morning, uh, let me 7 o'clock, assume 7 o'clock. So clock in period time start with 20 zero, zero, until maybe make it about 21, mm, make it 23, it like, be easier. Then the clock out period start, in the, uh, let's say start about uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, until they are including their all time, maybe make it 9 o'clock, alright. Then their break, really morning time, we're going to catch up about it. They just put in on the, the break time, let's say break, break, break time, make it about um, 2 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I, I this one, I add to it, click here, so night. So night, they have two shift really. So clocking period time is it. How the system know is based on the clocking period time. So there's no overlapping of the clocking period. So one minute set this thing down then only we go to the employee schedule for those uh, operation mostly have this uh, different different timetable okay they go for operation schedule then you assign the, the, mo the morning one apply to it oh, the afternoon sorry then the morning apply to it then apply again at for night okay they add on to it that's how you do it I click back again, see that a uh, change automatic schedule. This one on or automatic schedule. Automatic schedule, you only can see the timetable, 
all right if this one is still cannot work according to yours then you can go for yearly roosters okay sorry here you you click one you click here is the open up click on it then right click and select okay then how the color this one is represent the color if you want to change the color just go back to your time table here as for now only by color no other ways on huh? okay for your information let's say if i choose other color i put this one as a uh, red okay then this one is uh, i choose it as uh, yellow okay i have not updated yet sorry update it then uh, this one maybe i choose it at a uh, night dark uh, dark color okay okay then update okay afternoon just the color back here to choose okay maybe i choose different color for this for this maybe mm, uh, like blue like this okay just pull on that and update it okay so one is done the color only by color can see uh, all right for now it's only color no other ways so operation click here select it and reach sorry yearly users let's click here yearly users just arrange it just right click see the color notice that right it's different or oh, because i like that color okay just take it sometimes you select a certain date you just click here and select and shift and move again they come out see and different day go uh like night shift move again it's like that okay once you done please do remember click and save it that's how it's like because sometimes uh, auto shift cannot do then it'll go by yearly users done by yearly users it okay but if it's sometimes only certain day on you go to different timetable then you can click like temporary shift just on this day go to which timetable then you select the timetable name that'll be all right it will all right the existing we assign to him okay this one temporary shift we call it right here so bear in mind once you've done all this assign done all the assign then you can go to report directly let's say i just take few of the employees okay for just for getting and i queue it up So, you see about done already, then you can click daily, right? The report will pop up. This one daily report like this. Okay, you can see it all report like this. Then you can see a daily detail, detail report. In the detail report, you can see there's a name schedule right here. If there's no name schedule right here, it's blank. That means you have not assigned the timetable. Then the system will pop up accordingly all right so while you're according to timetable it will calculate accordingly all right you calculate accordingly you will see some like check out missing or uh, whatever because you got clock in no clock out maybe you got clock out but it's the timetable setting that's not right so you have to go back to do some setting on that part okay remember one this one everything it should be all right already so do bear in mind huh okay so uh, that's all for now for timetable. So I hope you all get uh, this information is good to you all. Have a nice day. Thank you. Get your check time biometric system today. For more info, visit our website, www.check-time.com.